This week on BFX, we're blasting off and showing you how to make a spaceship. When I was a little kid, I was convinced that when I grew up, I would have real working hoverboards and flying cars and spaceships. But we don't seem to have any of those things. Damn you, science! Well, at least I can show you how to recreate space flight in your next movie. Your request! Erla Felipia and Pat both posted a request on IndieMogul.com for a miniature spaceship and cockpit effect. Let's spin, spin the wheel! wheel. This project is going to break down into two main parts. First, I'm going to show you how to make a cool miniature spaceship. Then, we'll learn how to use a green screen and some other props to make your spaceship fly. Now, my spaceship is going to consist of these parts. One plastic thermos, two plastic mugs, two plastic toilet paper tubes, four tap lights, and a can of white spray paint. But keep in mind, you can really make your spaceship out of anything. Hey there, Channel Frederator. This is Jeff. Again, things are uh, pretty bad. I'm just so sick of people. Sometimes I swim in the ocean and pretend I'm a fish, you know? The trash washes by and reminds me how sick we are. God only exists in the freak. Rockwell. But you're different, Frederator. You get me. You, you make me laugh. Thanks for, thanks for making me feel like I belong. Super Tom laughs, baby. The first thing I did is cut a hole in the top of the thermos to make a cockpit window. Next, I trimmed the handles of the mugs and hot glued it to the thermos. Then I glued the toilet paper tubes to the bottom as laser cannons. Next, the whole thing gets a coat of flat white spray paint. Lastly, glue in three tap lights to the back as thrusters. So now that we've got a cool miniature spaceship, you're gonna need to translate that into a cool, awesome space flight scene. And for that, we're gonna need a green screen. Once you have your green screen set up, you can hang your spaceship using some fishing line. We attached it to a C-stand, but you can use push pins and your ceiling. The trick here is that we're going to move the camera, not the ship. When superimposed over a star field background, it'll look like your ship is darting through space. For the cockpit scenes, we use the same principle. Seat your actor in front of a green screen, then add a simple digital cockpit. For an added touch, use your editing program to move it all around. Man, this baby really goes since I got the ion generators replaced. Watch this! Whoa! What was that? That was a warning shot, Beck Rogers. Who are you? I'm Lord Johnson, your fa- My father? No, you fucking imbecile! Your friend! I'm like two years younger than you, it doesn't even make sense! What do you want? I want to challenge you to mano y mano, spaceship -y spaceship! A duel! A okay. spectacular duel! Don't forget that the entire month of October, BFX is switching to Halloween mode. We'll be taking your creepy requests and freaking you out! When shooting a scene with movement, Use white tape on the ground to mark where your actors should start and stop. Hey Andy Mogul, it's Mr. BQ. My first movie was about a rabbit who calls on the mob to take out some kids and get a package. Whenever he gets the package, it turns out to be trick cereal, and he's the rabbit, and he finally gets to eat it, but then another kid comes and shoots him. It was a real waste of tricks, because it was all over the floor, but hey, I ate it anyway. My first movie was about ninjas. Yeah, my first movie was about two drunk rednecks who hunt goth kids for money. It's an exploitation film, and we actually lit a guy on fire. Good times. <laughs>